Hello, welcome to the penultimate Bloodborne board game painting video for the Chalice Dungeon expansion. Last week we did the Beast Possessed Soul and this week we are going to be doing the Fluorescent Flower of Bergenworth. What a beautiful, horrible amalgamation of alien, tentacle, scorpion creation this is. Horrible to look at, but also kind of beautiful to look at, if you think about it. Anyway, here we have clean water, tub for your dirty water, kitchen roll, wet palette, get it wetted up, get your sheet on, get all the wrinkles and the kinks and the knobbly bits ironed out with either a card or anything of a similar flat, thin surface. So here we have our little fluorescent centipede scorpion crab flower, and we're gonna get it primed black so we can start painting. So let's start off by Zenithal highlighting this little creepy crawly. I say little, it's absolutely massive. This massive creepy crawly. Grab our thinner, or we'll grab our cleaner, pop some thinner into the cup, pop some Liquitex white ink into the cup, and we'll start spraying this creepy crawly up from a top-down angle, making sure we're getting the brighter points higher up, the darker points remaining dark lower down, and all the undersides not touched by any ink at all, so we get a really nice gradient going on. And there we go, we can begin painting. So this thing is quite cosmic and weird, so I thought I'll try some color shift paints again. But I did forget that these paints kind of work better when you have a darker base, so if you have a black prime base, these work better on that, so I didn't get too much of the sort of cosmic-y, colour-shifty thing that you get with these paints on the brighter parts, but as it sort of got into the darker regions, you could see these colour shifts appearing more. And what is weird is that this blue cosmic paint that you can see comes out pink on a dark base, which is really strange. Like, you'd think it would come out blue, but it comes out pink. That's pretty wacky. But anyway, I'm kind of just painting around these different color shift paints that I have from Green Stuff World, just trying to make it look a bit more weird and alien-like. And just sort of focusing the sort of darker colors on the darker primes and trying to use the more sort of like glossy, shimmery, shiny pearl kind of colors on the lighter parts. I'm just kind of like making it up as I go because it is quite an alien looking thing. And then I can grab some Bugman's Glow, which is your nice sort of like dark, fleshy, pinky tone. And I'm just painting that into the horrible mouth opening that's in the front there. And then you can paint in the teeth with some more cast bone. And then, you know, if you wanted to, you could dry brush on some brighter tones, some like Wraith Bones or Corax Whites onto the teeth to really bring them out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some Corax White and I'm just gonna use that to kind of go back over some of the brighter parts where I have the color shift paints on, just to sort of make them more white rather than just having the pearlescent kind of colors, the iridescent colors. So I'm kind of just blending it nicely, sort of like from the center outwards so that it sort of like goes from a bright center to the shimmery color shifty tones towards the ends of these horrible tentacle things. Then I can just highlight certain parts of the body, like the edges here, sort of going up towards the center and around the edges of the mouth. And then, yeah, just following suit with that across all of the horrible little tentacles as well. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So I'm gonna grab some Lothan blue because it's quite a vibrant blue and I just kind of wanted to sort of tickle this on to these like little strands that you can see, these little like veiny bits that are on the body, just to sort of like make it stand out a bit, like add a bit more color and interest to what I've got going on here. So it's not just like one single tone with a couple of like iridescent edges on it, just things to sort of break up the sort of monotony of things. Then I'm just gonna go back over the lip of that mouth there with some more white to accentuate it. And then just slowly, just gently adding in more of this Lothan blue to some of the tentacles to sort of build out those colors a bit. Don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just making up as I go, seeing what works best and just experimenting as I go. But what I also did off camera as well was that I sort of went back with all of the other iridescent colors that I've got, all of the color shift paints that I have, and I just started plonking it on random points. And it sort of like generated this greeny, bluey, pinky amalgamation of weird color shift colors, which kind of looks funky, kind of looks pretty alien-like, which is what I was kind of going for. So, hey, mission accomplished, I guess. But there we go, that's the fluorescent flower and that is the penultimate episode of Bloodborne expansion painting done. We have one episode left. 
that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy today's episode, please be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and drop a comment if you feel so inclined. I want to say a big thank you to all my patrons, as always, for all of your support. We have one more episode of Bloodborne coming up, but we have a lot more bigger, longer videos coming your way, so keep an eye out for that. I'll see you next time for the final episode of the Chalice Dungeon Expansion. Bye-bye.